In this video, we're going to continue covering my visit to my chronic fatigue syndrome specialist. What is that like and how that was helpful for my day to day? Uh, some people, you know, wonder, is this worth it? And for me, it really was because it gave me the tools I needed to communicate with other doctors and I'll explain why. So regular doctors run these generic tests that are supposed to uh, tell you if something is wrong with you. The issue with those tests is that they are very genetic and not necessarily reflect uh, certain areas. So um, I'm gonna give you an example where I had hypothyroid for a long time, but they couldn't figure it out because the regular test that they run is a ratio test. What that means is that they have one number divided by the other and the ratio, um, this divided by this, this is your result and then they have an acceptable range. What happened with ratios is that A, uh, you know, divided by B, A could be very, very low and B can be very, very low and you still get the same result as if A is high proportionate to B being high. For example, let's say that you have A sobre B and it is like 50 over 100, that is 0 0.5. Now let's say that the value of A is 1 and the value of B is 2, that's 0 0.5 so even though the ratio is okay you can be you know with a very low and b very low and that was my case for my white blood cells so i had a lot of issues and when they run all the tests the uh, ratio was a bit off because my um my white blood cells were coming up a little bit high but overall they look okay and when uh, the chronic fatigue syndrome specialist started digging started digging into the white blood cells we can see um, that I wasn't okay and that things weren't normal and I walk you through those um, tests the first test today that we're going to talk about is a cytokine test Cytokines are substances created by certain immune uh, cells and they're basically immuno, uh, immunoglobin like um, IL, IL um, TNF alpha and that kind of stuff. And to make the story short, I'm not going to get into the definition in the sheet that I have, they define it and they say, okay, your TNF alpha and IL-1 both both affect a wide variety of cells to induce many similar inflammatory reactions, fever, production of cytokines, endothelial gene regulation, chemotaxis. Anyway, so it's a lot of big words. But to make the story short, when I had this test and I got the results back, like I never run a fever. And if you uh, see the cytokines that a help run a fever you see that mines are very low so when you see this particular see if we can get it to focus you see like um, this is um, high low low high high so I was all over the place but they're not in normal ranges okay so you can see this is my 2013 uh, text you can see how I was very off and even though the regular tests that doctors use for inflammation um, did not show inflammation in me versus the cytokine, uh, it's called cytokine multiplex a, a dash 18 report showed a lot of inflammation. And you could see my pro-inflammatory cytokines being high and then the ones that help you regulate inflammation being very low. So this was especially for the neurologist to see that there was immune abnormality. This was very helpful. So um, I am gonna cut it kind of short because um, you know, the video will get too long, so this is your part two. And in the next video, I'm going to cover the lymphocyte, the lymphocyte subset test 
and that is the detail of the white blood cell and the CDs and CD3, CD4, CD8, CD56, 57 and all those and how that came up for me and how that was helpful to guide my, uh, my treatment. So um, in summary, this one just showed that I had a lot of inflammation um, of unknown origin um, and I will dig deeper in the next video. Well, thank you so much for watching and if you haven't, please subscribe and rest well.